Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Seekhein. Uh, I am a board certified OBGYN doctor who has been uh, practicing in Jacksonville for the past 30 years. I did my um, residency training at the University of Florida. And I'd like to talk to you about something that's uh, special to me in my practice, and that's uh, menopause and hormonal replacement therapy. I think there's a myth about menopause that once you get through it, um, it's over with, uh, but there really isn't getting through it. Uh, the uh, truth of the matter is that uh, menopause is a failure of your ovaries in the female to produce the hormones that uh, keep you from developing certain symptoms that we all have uh, associated with menopause. Uh, in females, when we talk about menopause, we talk about typically hot flashes and night sweats and um, vaginal dryness, uh, skin dryness. There are other things that uh, many women don't associate with menopause. That's uh, memory loss, um, uh, feeling tired, their um, sex drive goes out the window, um, they feel um, non-motivated, their energy levels are low, and this we have found has been related to the deficiency of testosterone, and yes, women do need testosterone. So what I have uh, become very comfortable with and what I've uh, been practicing for the, at least the past seven years in my gynecology practice is the utilization of um, bioidentical hormones, and um, I know that we uh, have heard about bioidentical hormones and creams and gels, but these are in the form of pellets. And um, I became associated with uh, the Soto Pelli group about seven years ago, which utilizes uh, these pellets and they are inserted under the skin uh, in the buttock area, which uh, then dissolve over a period of uh, three to five months. And um, we based the dosage on um, some very objective findings, that being testing the uh, blood levels of the hormones that uh, are deficient, and then utilizing that plus each individual's height, weight, and age to determine what their dosage is. Uh, therefore, we're not giving too much or too little and uh, getting the right amount for each individual person that men go through a type of menopause, which we call andropause. And that similarly, when their um, production of testosterone from the testicles decreases, uh, they go through certain symptoms that uh, cause them to feel um, certain ways that replacing the testosterone can get them feeling better. For the males, we do a similar approach. We uh, do blood tests test what the testosterone levels are, and then calculate based on their height, their weight, their age, and their testosterone level how much testosterone is replaced. Of course, males necessitate a whole lot more testosterone than females, so the number of pellets that we would use in males um, is quite large compared to the females, but we still uh, implant them in the, uh, in the, under the skin in the buttock area. And for males, it's usually um, around six months that they see the effect of the hormones. The procedure is very simple and uh, that's certainly explained to uh, each individual person prior to the insertion, but basically we numb the skin, make a little puncture and have an instrument that allows me to push the pellets into the fat tissue where they actually dissolve slowly over a period of, uh, for the females, three to five months, and for the males, a uh, minimum of six months. The uh, safety of introducing hormones through directly into the bloodstream versus taking pills um, is that it bypasses the liver, and uh, when we, whenever we bypass the liver, we have less chance of uh, causing any increase in blood clotting factors or enzymes that could cause uh, side effects or problems.